Hi, my name is Mary Stewart, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, social media categories inside of ClickUp using the method that Jasmine Starr teaches. Now, Jasmine has a video on YouTube, so check it out. Um, just type in Jasmine Starr in categories, and you can find it. So, under my marketing tab, I have social media categories. So I'll just collapse that view and we'll go here. So you'll have your list view, list view and your board view. So I am in board view and let's get started. Okay, so I have for my categories, I have about me, behind the scenes, benefits, my why, personal insight, services, encouragement. And I'm going to show you the last one and show you how I did it. So once you do the first one, you can just basically go and duplicate, make a duplicate of it, boom, and then change the name. So my last category is going to be interviews, oh goodness, interviews with <laughs> fellow business owners, and I hit the wrong button, okay? So go back over here. So interviews and videos with other business owners, okay? So I'll type that in here. Okay. So fun. Boom. So what exactly do I have under here? Okay, so you go down to your edit field, and you can see that I have everything, like my photo topics, they are totally color-coded in here, okay? So you hit save and there you have that. Now, my topics, I'm going to show you how I do it. So I post on Instagram about three to four times a week. So let's just say tomorrow, I am wanting to talk about, about me and my invention, okay? Then the very next day, I want to go behind the scenes with my invention because I may be going to meet uh, someone in the community to have a, an interview and to um, form some kind of partnership or relationship. So bam, two times. And then the next time I may want to talk about personal insight and have a book. And then on the last day, I may want to encourage someone to keep going as the business owner. Uh, I may be talking to a client. I may be at a speaking event, or I may just be sitting at my desk trying to encourage someone to keep going and stay consistent. Boom, post that there. So then that's week one. And then week two, I may want to start out you know, with an about me and talk about life in Alabama. And then I want to may talk about benefits of being a business owner or the benefits of using marketing or systems. I may want to give you a quote. I may want to talk about my why and just show some amazing event that I've been to. And then, hey, I may want to talk about my services and how I can help you set up, click up or like a boss, hey, <laughs> and have a selfie picture. Okay. So then that's that one. And then you would just kind of continue to go on, add your stuff in, however you want to set it up until you get to the end of all of your stuff. And once you're done, then you can see how much you have talked about each thing and see if you want to level it out some more or see if you are just really loving the way that you have put it together. Okay. Uh, so the reason I'm leaving interviews off is because I interview people. Uh, I like to post an interview an interview every one to two weeks, okay? So if I have an interview, I will post it there. And then a coaching and a marketing tip. So this will be the gist of how it will look, okay? As you see, it's pretty well rounded. I have a little bit of um, some of everything. If you wanted to add another book, you could add another book. But one book a month is sufficient for me, okay? Now, if you want to upload your captions, you can upload your captions here by pressing the button and you can uh, use drop files and put your Google Docs here. Okay, another way that you can do this very thing is to go to the top 
and add a view. So the view that you would add would be the documentation view and add that view and you have a blank page. Now you can cut and paste that information here and you will have it here. Now another thing um, with this view is your hashtags. You can also store your hashtags here. So however many sets of hashtags that you have, you can kind of store it here. Now you can also create a little, create a little bit of a little table and do your weekly assessments. Like how are these hashtags working? Am I growing like I thought I would be growing? Like do your assessments here. Over time, right, you're going to see which ones of these uh, topics and these categories work best for you. And then you can double down on those and take out something else. Like people may not want to hear about some things or you're having like a lot of engagement when you post about books and selfies. So you will want to add more of those in the mix to help you reach your goals. Okay, so let's go into here. I started uh, playing around here. The, your, <coughs> excuse me, all of that information, your uh, categories are going to populate here. Okay, so what you want to do for that week is if you click on this uh, carrot, you will be able to see what you have here, okay? And then let's just say if you had someone helping you, you could drop in photos for them and then tell them like kind of what to do. So the logo would be for Wednesday and then the picture of the toast would be for Friday, okay? You can add those kinds of notes in here, okay? Um, and once it's done, they can kind of drag it over. Um, you can review it or they can just kind of completely just complete the task, however you want to do it. Um, so when it's in review mode, so if they send it for review and if you're using something like Facebook Creator, you can hop on over to Facebook Creator and see if you, you know, kind of like how it all panned out. Now, another thing you can decide to give your um, virtual assistant, you can decide to give your virtual assistant um, the freedom to move things around if you're noticing um, that maybe you have two really, really dark photos or maybe two photos that are gonna be adjacent that could look better in a different spot. So then your, uh, if you give your VA the, um, you know, the leeway to do that, then they can do that and then they can send it to review. So once it goes into review, it goes from the to-do list up to the in-review list, okay? So then if you look over on the board um, view, you will see that, boom, that that um, particular one is now in review. And once I've reviewed it, it can go over to complete, okay? So you go back to the list view, and it's not going to be there anymore. <laughs> it's gone. So if you want to still see that, then you can see it over in the complete view. So I hope that this video has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions about social media categories, um, as you plan out your Instagram strategy, please leave them in the comments. If you have any questions about using ClickUp for your business, I post those in the comments as well. And if you would like any assistance with any of it, then my contact information will be below. Check out the video that Jasmine did and put it all together and tag me in the comments once you post yours, okay? I'm at Be Well with Mary over on Instagram. It's been a pleasure. Talk to you later.